Watch your lines of fire! This feels nice. This the liberty kicks a bit though. Who's John Wick? You know what? Fuck John Wick. Now nah, I'm just playing. I don't want him coming after me.
Plum here, G'day Champions, how's it going? And welcome back to another Division 2 build video. Roto Champs, fuck, you guys are awesome. The channel has now whizzed past the 5k sub mark. I really can't thank you guys enough, but there's still a heap of you creeping around watching and not subscribing. So if you watch my content or find it at least 2% helpful, do me and yourself a favor, hit that sub button and that bell notification. It takes two clicks, it's very simple. The more the channel grows, the more average to great content you guys will get. You, the division community, is what drives me to do better. So we're back today with another legendary build and this thing works great in a team, but works even better solo. You can literally stroll through legendary content behind this massive car door. I know, I know, a lot of you aren't fans of the shield and that's okay. But to be honest, this is the face tanking pistol shield build every player should have. When all the stars align, 5.8 mil crits, that's huge. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely room for improvement in this build or for individuals to change things up and morph this into something different or to make it their own. All these builds that I do are just ideas, light bulb moments, templates, whatever you want to call it. Or if you just simply want to cut and paste it, go for it. But whatever you do, make sure it fits your playstyle. Righto champs, so that's enough jibber jabber, let's get stuck in. 4 piece Hunter's Fury, 1 DNH, Memento Backpack, Liberty Pistol, Face Tanking Shield Build. 4 reds, 3 blues, 2 yellows, 1.3 mil armor. We're using the technician specialization so we can get that added skill tier and that's what gives us the two skill tiers. Technician's great for legendary summit because we also get 12% damage to drones, skills and robotics. All these things are included in those evil wallies and the warhounds. But the main reason is so that we can activate the artificer hive. This thing shoots out little stims that will repair our shield. And it works without us having to deploy the hive, which means the stims are constantly recharging and repairing. The main gun for the build is the Liberty Pistol. This gave me Liberty as it gave others death. Respect it and it will respect you. It's maxed out 15% pistol damage and that 10% multiplicative damage to targets out of cover. The talent, Liberty or Death. Hits grant a plus 2% weapon damage, stacking up to 30 times. That's an additional 60% weapon damage bonus. Headshots will consume all your stacks and repair your shield for 3% per stack. So at max stacks, not only are we getting that 60% weapon damage, we'll also repair 90% of our shield. And if you don't need your shield repaired, simply avoid headshots and stroll around with a 60% weapon damage buff all the time. The other guns, you can use whatever you like. I do recommend something mid to long range like this AKM for those rooms in Summit that have jammers. Once the jammers are active, it kind of nerfs your whole build into the ground. So take out the jammer and away you go. I'm also rocking an apartment, mainly because I do get the SMG damage buff from Hunter's Fury. So it's there if I need it. All right, to the gear, we've got a Hunter's Fury mask. The bonuses are shoddy and SMG damage. I know these are a little bit wasted, but it doesn't matter. We get 20% armor and 100% health on kill. But that main bonus we want is Apex Predator. Enemies within 15 meters get debuffed, amplifying our weapon damage against them by 20%. Killing one of these disorientates others within 5 meters and also amplifies our weapon damage by a further 5% which can stack 5 times. I've gone for weapon damage, crit chance and a crit hit chance mod. The chest piece is DNH for that 20% pistol damage. Now here's where you could definitely change things up if you wanted to run Seska or Grupo to get more crit chance or crit damage, it's entirely up to you. I was lucky enough to get this god roll DNH one with Intimidate, so I'm going to use it. So if Apex Predator and Intimidate are active, that's 80% amplified damage. Getting talents that synergize like this are key to clearing legendary content fast and easy. 
The holster is Hunters with a max armor roll and 11.6 crit hit damage. Hunter's Knee with max armor and 11.9 crit hit damage. Hunter's Fury Gloves with max weapon damage and crit hit damage. And the last item is the Memento Backpack. We get a core red, blue, and yellow, and that awesome talent, Kill Confirmed. Getting a kill that includes skills will drop trophies. Collect these to get short-term and long-term buffs. Short-term buffs are 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. The long-term ones are the same, but they're smaller increments, and they stack 30 times, which means at full stacks we get 30% weapon damage, 30% skill efficiency, and 3% regen. Righto champs to the skills, and it's a shield build, so clearly we're gonna be rocking the umbrella. Nah, ballistic shield, that's the big boy one. This fella you can only use the pistol with, so you're kind of seeing how everything's falling into place. Based on our build, we've got five skill tiers. That's two yellows and three blues, which is gonna give us 11 and a half mil health pool for the shield. Artifizer Hive is our second skill. This will repair our shield for 33% per stim, which makes this a freaking tank build, champs. Over to the stat sheet, the AKM, 44 crit hit chance and 110 crit hit damage. The apartment's 50% crit hit chance and 115 crit hit damage. Our Liberty, yep, I know, 39 crit hit chance and 105 crit hit damage is shit. But with all our buffs, we've got more than enough damage. 125% headshot damage, and if you want to tweak the crit chance, crit damage, go for it. Have a play around. 69% all weapon damage and 50% pistol. Remember, these are our base weapon damage stats. We're going to be getting 256k armor on kill, and at full stacks of memento, we get nearly 40k regen. This build's reasonably easy to put together, and like you've seen in all the footage, it's super effective in legendary content. Absolutely, I'm gonna say this build's awesome, you guys are awesome, and that's freaking awesome. I highly recommend you give this build a go, and if you do, let me know how you went with it. And that's it for me on this one, champs. Drop a comment below about whatever. Any feedback, build questions, suggestions, or ideas, you know I'm easy. Help yourself and the channel, make sure that you've hit that bell notification so you know every time I upload new content. So, did you like it? Then smash that like button, and if you didn't, you can press the dislike. But remember, to support me and the channel, hit that sub button and become a creepy subscriber. And I'll catch you all in the next one, champions. I'm Plum, Plum out.